Hi, I'm uh, Phil Bentley. I uh, retired from the Air Force in uh, 1987 and uh, went to work for American Airlines and retired from American in 2004. Well, my father was in the Air Force as a career. He was a reservist in and out of the Air Force uh, a number of times, World War II, Korea, and I decided to go to San Diego State and, and ROTC. And they gave me a couple tests and said, you can be a pilot. And I said, sign me up. Upon graduation from San Diego State, of course, I got a commission as a second lieutenant. I was assigned to uh, Reese Air Force Base in Lubbock, Texas. And uh, there we uh, first flew the T-41. It was out at uh, Lubbock Municipal Field. And then after the T-41, we flew uh, the uh, T-37, which is behind us here. And uh, I uh, spent four and a half months in the T-37, finished that, and then went on to the T-38 uh, for six months in the T-38 and uh, graduated uh, with my wings in the uh, summer of 1968. All of us that flew the uh, T-37, uh, it was called the Tweet or the Tweety Bird, but uh, sometimes uh, euphemistically referred to as the 6,000 pound dog whistle because of the, the very high pitched squeal of the engines that idle. During uh, Vietnam, I was stationed at Da Nang Air Base, uh, northern part of South Vietnam. Most of my missions were flown over Laos. And at that time when I was there, uh, we weren't allowed to say that we were flying over Laos. I often had to tell my relatives to look at this article or that article that I knew it had been printed and that they could then uh, get an idea of what I was doing. In Alaska, it was uh, a very unusual flying experience. Uh, in Vietnam, the O2 was underpowered in, the, in Alaska because of the heat. In Alaska, the uh, O2 was uh, about what an airplane should be because of the lower temperatures. Uh, we were allowed to fly down to about 35 below, uh, and uh, at, once it got colder than that, it got a bit dangerous for the ground crew and everybody else to uh, support the airplane. Uh, we did fly uh, looking like uh, the abdominal snowman as far as having uh, a, a, a various and sundry survival gear with us and wearing the survival flight suits and that sort of thing. So that was, uh, but we were just like bush pilots in Alaska, and we supported the Army mission up there. And we joke that we stopped the Ruskies from coming over the pole and uh, during the Cold War. And, uh, but it was a spectacular flying experience, uh, both in Vietnam, which was beautiful, and in Alaska, which has its own, own uh, aura about flying. Uh, I was uh, chief of check section at the time in the T-37 squadron. I uh, had the uh, opportunity to give the Prince of Iran, uh, Raza Pahlavi, his check ride in the T-37, which allowed him to continue on to the T-38, and that was that was uh, probably uh, one of the more fun incidents uh, or fun uh, situations I found myself in.